<laughs> this is my fourth hour drama class. They put this together themselves, so they got the costumes and they put the makeup on and they made the set all by themselves. Um, and so this is a great for them to do this for you guys. And they've been working really hard, so they're very excited. Hello guys, I'll be the narrator. Uh, today we're le reading the Little Red Hen. Once upon a time, there was a little red hen who shared her tiny cottage with a goose, a cat, and a dog. The goose was a gossip. She chatted with the neighbors all day long. You hear about fox, I would think. The cat was very vain. She brushed her fur, straightened her whiskers, and polished her claws all Ooh. day long. Ah. The dog was always sleepy. He napped on the front porch swing all day long. Ugh, I'm gonna catch a few winks. The little red hen ended up doing all of the work around the house. Uh, she cooked, she cleaned, she washed the clothes. She and took out all the trash. She mowed the lawn and raked the leaves. She even did all of the shopping. Well, I'm finally done. Never mind. One morning, on her way to the market, the little red hen found a few grains of wheat. Ooh, wow, look what I found. These will come in handy. Let them keep them safe in my apron. When the little red hen got home that day, she went to talk to her friends. Look guys, what I found on the way to the market. Oh, I can plant these. Not I. Not I. Not I. And I will plant them myself. Now many, many weeks went by and a few grains of wheat began to sprout. Look guys, the wheat is almost ready. Who will help me take care of it this summer? Not I. Not I. Not I. I will take care of it myself. All summer long, she cared for the growing wheat. She made sure that it got enough water, and she hoed the weeds out carefully between each row. And by the end of summer, the wheat had grown tall and turned from green to gold. Hey guys, this wheat is ready to be cut and threshed. Who will me cut and thresh it? Not I, I'm busy. Not I, I'm still tacky. Not I, I'm doing fine that. And I will cut and thresh it myself. <laughs> When all of the wheat had been cut and threshed, the little red hen scooped it, scooped the wheat up and put it into a sack. Friends, this wheat must be ground to flour. Who will help me take it to the mill? Not I. Not I. Not I. And I will take it myself. <laughs> the little red hen made the journey to the mill, where the miller ground the wheat into flour and put it into a bag for the little red hen. And then all by herself, she carried the bag home and in a sack. One cool fall morning, not many days later, the little red hen got up early. 
Wake up, lazy bones. Today would be a perfect day to bake some bread. <laughs> Who only bakes some bread from the flour I got home from the... Not I. It's too early. Not I. I need my beauty sleep. Not I. I'm sleeping. And I will make it myself. <laughs> So the little red hen got busy making the bread. She mixed the flour with milk, and eggs, and butter, and salt. She kneaded the dough and shaped it into a nice plump loaf. Then she put the loaf into an oven and watched it as it baked. The smell of the baking bread soon filled the air. Oh my goodness, do you smell that? It smells so good. Let's go get some. One by one, they entered the kitchen. The little red hen took the freshly baked loaf of bread out of the oven. Oh, I will. And I will. And I will. You will? Who helped plant the wheat and take care of it? I did. Who helped put the wheat into flour? Who helped me cut and thresh the wheat and take it to the mill to turn into flour? I did. Who took the our home and make it to this loaf of bread. I did. I did it all by myself and now I'm going to eat it all by myself. And that is exactly what she did. The end. Thank you so much for letting us come and present.